Hello and welcome all the learners. I welcome you to the new video series. And this is the first part of that video series. I am doing an attempt to spread awareness, to spread knowledge about design automation using NX Open and focusing on the design engineers. If you are a design engineer or if you a mechanical engineer who knows how to use CAD software, you haven't tried any programming before, you don't know anything about design automation, that is perfectly fine. My approach to educate you in this video series is that you can even understand the concepts, the terminology, the topic itself without having any prior knowledge. So let's start guys. I am here with the first example. We are anyway go, going to learn the various topics from NX Open programming using examples. The first example is creating a part file along with a drawing sheet, along with a blank drawing sheet. So the part is blank along with the drawing sheet is also going to be a blank. So before I start, I would like to tell you, we will be experiencing or uh, trying out this example using journals. The journal is a very simple in and uh, initial uh, tool to start knowing about programming in, in NX Open. So if you are into the NX CAD, then inside menu tools, you will find journal. As I have a journal open, I cannot see those options enabled for me. But once you go to journal and edit, you will land to the window like this, which is called journal editor. And I have a code written here. This code is written in C sharp. I am going to tell you how you can check the programming language to be used for journal. So if you go to uh, preferences and user interface, you will land on this dialog. And this is a user interface preferences. Here we can choose the journal language from the available languages. I have a code in C sharp. So my journal language is also set to C sharp. Now let's see this journal in details. Using system and using NX Open, these are actually two libraries. System is your OS itself. And then uh, NX Open is a library which is helping us helping our program to connect with the interfaces or features within NX CAD tool. Then this is the public class. Uh, it is a function within which we are going to write our code. And then within this class, there is a function called public static word main. So when we are writing a journal, main is going to be the function which will execute first. We won't go into too much details in programming. I am assuming that you don't know anything about C sharp. You just uh, follow me and I am trying to, to make you aware out of this, this topic through this example with a simple uh, with a simple explanation. So how we create a new part file we go to file new, we select a template and then we might also choose the file name, also choose the uh, units. So this is all things that we do. The same thing are done here. 
uh, a file new is is picked up and the template is picked up as blank then units are set to millimeters and this is the file name along with the file path then template blank used blank template is set to true again displayed part is set to true and new part is created with this selected code block so this creates a blank part then we move on to the drawing and create a blank drawing sheet to create the black drawing sheet there is an object called drawing sheet builder this object helps us to create the blank uh, create the drawing sheet it can be blank it can be with some uh, some details inside it and then this builder further helps us to set up some parameters for example sheet unit sheet size which is, which is set to the standard then matrix scale sheet uh, sheet scale we set up then sheet height and sheet length is also given and then the projection angle is set to first so these are the parameters given for creating a drawing sheet and this uh, this is the selected code block that helps us build that drawing sheet with these many details but it is still going to be a blank and then finally we are committing this drawing sheet builder and this is where our program ends very simple things to understand if you go and and read this program you will be able to understand what this program is doing even uh, without knowing anything about programming now let's let's run this journal i am going to first close the active part that i have and then i am going to hit a play button inside journal editor this will trigger the execution of code written inside this journal file if there are no errors everything is fine then it will straight away execute the actions which we have defined in the journal file the journal is run without an error we don't see any any pop up messages and we can even see it has done his, his job here we can see a drawing sheet the file name is this appearing here and then i can even go and check inside modeling we can see this is a blank part there as well so we have got blank part as well as blank drawing sheet now i will do a slight tweak inside this journal i don't know much about programming but what i am doing here i am just changing the uh, switching swapping the length and height of the drawing sheet now the drawing sheet is 297 by 210 now i will again close this part we are slightly changing some parameters and we are going to ensure or we are, we are going to evaluate whether it will still work fine for us so executing the journal again now you can see we got an portrait drawing sheet earlier it was landscape so this is how you can even go and check change the units scale the projection angle and few more parameters which are relevant for drawing sheet and again the parameters uh, for the part file you can even go and change the file name so this is how you can simply state get started with the with the journal with the programming even without having any prior knowledge i hope this was useful video for you uh, stay tuned for such, such similar videos in this video series which are coming uh, to you very soon and uh, i guess uh, this is something very interesting for you to learn i i i wish you a good luck and uh, definitely uh, going to see you going to meet you in the next part next next video of this video series thanks a lot 
बाय बाय सी यू अगेन